kind of see what is going on with yourself and then realize have the power to transform it. Yeah. Diana is going to be leading us in a meditation and then Kelly will be doing some breath work and vocal toning. Awesome. Thank you, Karina. All right. Good evening, everyone. That's okay. We're going to try it again. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you. One more time. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you. And welcome to Meditation Mount. I am Deanna, and I'm very happy to be with you all. So we're going to jump right in. Uh, one of the things that we love to do here at Meditation Mount is to really connect with everyone who is in the space with us. This allows us the beautiful opportunity, one, to connect. Um, to be able to see who's in the space with us, who we will be holding the space for um, during our time together. And me personally, it just allows me to take each and every person here on the Mount in. I just want to take you all in. And uh, that's very intimate. And you might be like, I don't know her. Why does she want to take me in? For many reasons. <laughs> because you all are beautiful expressions of the divine. And when I look at you all, I get to re be reminded of something about me, something in me that is beautiful, something in me that is loving, something in me that is pure, something in me that is expansive and possible. So I, I take you all in to be reminded of who I am. So we're just gonna take a moment to just connect eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul. If it's a little bit too intimate for you, it's okay. You can look away. You can be like, oh, the sun's in my eye. Oh, somebody's calling me. Well, you know, we want you to feel comfortable, but thank you for allowing us this time, okay? So we'll go ahead and begin. Thank you for the smiles, the head nods, Thank you, thank you, thank you for your presence. The winks. <laughs> and the hearts, thank you. I received that. Thank you. And now we invite you all to take each other in, to just see who is journeying with you for this next hour. To look at the person who you came with, to just kind of look at and connect with someone new. Just taking in all the myriad yet beautiful and diverse ways that creation expresses. You can acknowledge each other with a, a, a head nod, a wink, a heart, a peace, thumbs up. You can even start to vocalize your vocalizer by saying, hey. <laughs> See, look at us bringing some laughter in. Wonderful. And I welcome the laughter because, um, and the joy and the lightness because I feel like those are qualities of Leo. And we're in Leo season. Where are my Leos at? Do we have any Leos? Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Yes, I know. So happy birthday, Leo. Thank you for reminding us to tap into the, to the, the lightness and to check in and be childlike. I think Leos are so confident because they know that they're covered. And I think that we can learn from Leos when it comes to that. They have this confidence, right? It's like a child. When a child is gonna do something, it does it. It's not, that child isn't afraid. And I think Leo invites us to return back to that sense of childlike confidence. Like, oh, my parents got it. And just knowing that something greater has us. Ooh, I got chills on that one. I don't know who that was for. Maybe for me. <laughs> you got it too? Awesome. So just knowing that something greater has us. That's the message of Leo. So one of its messages. So at this time, I invite us all to close the outer eyes and allow the third eye to open. Breathing into this moment, feeling the rise of your chest expanding and just noticing as it contracts as you exhale 
tuning into the natural sounds of the instrument that you are traveling in, known as your body, and then paying attention to all the sounds that are naturally emerging at this time from nature herself, and listening to all the ways she is sounding her voice to and for us. So keeping in line with this Leo energy, Leos are really generous beings. They're very generous. And our meditation reflection today, hmm, I want you to just sit with this question. In what way will my loving bring healing to the planet? In what way or ways will my loving, the love that I am, bring healing to the planet? Breathing into the heart space, really feeling and asking yourself that question. In what way does my love heal? And then as that starts to come up and starts to reveal and starts to give you insight, I invite you to think about a quality or something about you that you've heard that you are just great at. It could be cooking. It could be you give the best hugs. You are an amazing writer or you know exactly what to say, when to say it and how to say it. Whatever that thing is, those often gifts that we overlook. Think about what that thing is that you do that no one can do quite like you. And once you have that in mind, ask yourself, in what ways will this gift be part of the solution? In what way will this gift also bring healing to the planet? And I want you to really think, you know, do you have a way of telling a joke at just the right time? Are you one of those people when you walk into the room, you shift the, the energy? Whatever that is, just bring that to the front and realize that that is your giftedness and that it is also a part of the healing and the solution. So just continue to sit with that. In what way would this gift bring about healing? How is this gift, in what ways is this gift a part of the solution? Continuing to breathe into that, feeling that in the heart. If you want to put your hands on your heart, you can. If you want to put one hand on your heart, one hand on Mama Earth. Whatever feels good, whatever helps to put you in a space of receptivity. And we'll be here with this question just for a moment. Breathing into that question, feeling into that question, asking that question. And as you're feeling into that, I invite you to look at that gift and that love that you are and ask yourself, in what way is this gift here to heal me? Because it is universal law that what you give, you receive. And you can only give from that which you have, which means that you benefit from what you give. So how does that gift, how does your loving, how does that serve and heal you?
breathing into that inquiry, that reflection, allowing this to just cradle you during our sound experience, noticing what opens up for you during the sound journey, noticing who and what comes to you during this sound journey, knowing that it is all informing you of the gift that you are. So staying in this position, keeping the eyes closed and staying in this space of receptivity as Kelly guides us in some breathing and vocal toning. So keeping your eyes closed, maybe keeping the hand on the heart and the other hand on the earth, we're just going to connect with our bodies for a moment through breath. Maybe move around a little bit if you need to, moving your shoulders, just really feel into your body right now. Maybe a few neck rolls. Inhaling again from the earth, visualize that in your mind's eye. Inhaling from the earth into your belly. You're pulling that energy up into your belly. And then exhaling back down into the earth. So there's no separation between the earth and your body. You're inhaling from the earth, pulling the energy into your body. Holding it. Exhaling and pushing it back down into the earth, letting it go. Inhaling from the earth into your belly and then into your heart center. Holding it in your heart center and letting it go back down into the earth with the exhale. Inhaling from the earth into your belly into your heart center, expanding the chest, opening the shoulders if that helps. Exhaling back down into the earth and really let it go with the exhale. Now make this breath a little deeper. Inhale long, slow, and really deep. Holding it at the top, expanding your chest, Exhaling back down into the earth, really letting it all go. Inhaling again from the earth into your belly as deep as you can, holding it when it gets to the belly and the heart. Visualize the energy circulating in your heart center and exhale back down into the ground. Inhaling from the earth into your belly, and then into your heart and visualize your heart radiating a bright green light filled with energy. Exhale it back down into the earth. Inhale from the earth into your belly, into your bright green beautiful heart. And then imagine that connecting with all of the other hearts that are up here right now. And then exhaling back down into the earth. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling deep from the earth into your belly, into your beautiful green bright heart and have it connect with everyone else that's up here. All of our hearts connecting. And exhaling back down into the earth. And one more time, a long deep breath from the earth into our bellies into our beautiful, open green hearts, connecting with every other heart, 
And then when you're ready, let it go completely. Now after your next inhale, we're going to be vocalizing together. We're going to be humming together. So you take a long, slow, deep inhale, filling your belly with air. And then on the exhale, it sounds like this. Hum. Then you inhale again and you continue the cycle. If your hand is on your heart, you can really feel how strong of a vibration you can make just from humming. Hum. if you can feel the energy field around your body vibrating. Hum. of your next hum when the energy builds up behind your lips open up into a ma hum ma together. take a long deep deep breath and hold it at the top becoming very still noticing what it feels like to be you right now and exhale when you're ready and just let it all go and make your way down to a shavasana laying on your back going slowly moving slowly keeping your eyes closed if you can <laughs> and just getting totally comfortable feeling supported by Pachamama, feeling totally held by Mother Earth, noticing all of the parts of your body that are connecting with the Earth right now, feeling where you feel held the most, and breathing into that space. And this would be a lovely time to set an intention if you haven't already done so. Relaxing fully into the earth. Noticing the birds and the light breeze. 
completely letting go.
Kelly, can you just sing that refrain? I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. So I already hear some of you all singing. If you want to just chime in, I love you, I love you. Imagining the universe singing, I love you, I love you. Allowing that love to surround you and wrap you up. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Feeling into this love that is never in absence. I love This love that is everywhere. Feeling into that love, allowing that love to impress and imbue upon your heart, your mind, your soul, cradling you and bringing you back into this precious moment, this powerful moment known as now. For those of you who are lying down, I invite you to go ahead and start to wiggle those toes and fingers, bringing movement back to the body temple. For those of us who are already sitting up, just begin to sway left to right, right to left, bringing movement to the body. Imagining yourself swaying in the wind like beautiful trees, sequoias, redwoods, your tree of choice. Extending the arms towards the sky, just reaching and allowing yourself to receive that love from the universe. Imagining that love coming down, coming in, coming around, surrounding you, playing, tickling, cascading like a waterfall. The universe, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Inviting you to go ahead and just stretch again those arms up towards the heavens, getting a nice good stretch in the spine, almost like you're trying to touch your own personal star or that you want to imprint the sky with your stardust and then slowly allow those hands to just sweep down by your side, slowly filling into your energetic fields, feeling anything that has shifted during our journey together, taking a moment to look around you. What's changed? What's shifted? What's still the same? Looking at your hands and just beholding the miracle that you are, your arms as we Extend those arms out to the sides. Get a nice, good heart opening stretch in. Beautiful. And then we're going to bring those arms around and wrap ourselves so tightly in our own embrace. Nice, tight squeeze. Yes. And then we're going to open those arms up again. Nice heart opener. And then we're going to close them around ourselves one more time. This time, squeezing ourselves just a little bit tighter, maybe whispering to ourselves, I love you, I love you. <laughs> and then opening the arms one more time. Getting a good stretch in the heart. And if you came here with someone, I invite you to turn towards that person and give them a nice tight squeeze. And if you came by yourself, guess what? You get to hug yourself again. Yes. <laughs> and then one more time, open those arms nice and wide. And this time we're going to hug Gaia, Mama Mew, Pachamama, Mama Earth. The one with so many names, sending her love extending all that love out, imagining it zipping throughout the cosmos. Yeah, we love laughter. So from the deepest deeps of our hearts, we just wanna say thank you so much for being here with us this evening. You could have been anywhere else on this Friday, this first Friday in August, 2022, the only first Friday in August of 2022. 
there will never be another first Friday of August 2022, if you think about it. And here we are. So just take a moment to look around you one more time to imprint this moment, because we will never have this moment again. And that's what makes it so sacred and so special. So on behalf of Meditation Mount, Trinity of Sound, all of volunteers, staff, board of directors, we just want to say thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for entrusting us to hold space for you all during this sound journey. And we want to say happy birthday <laughs> to our beautiful Leo. Today is her birthday. Can we all say happy birthday? Happy birthday. Yes. Just sending you lots of love and joy and peace in this new year. And to all the Leos, if your birthday has passed or if it's coming up, happy birthday. We hope to see you all again very soon. Have a beautiful evening and may the love that you are guide your every step. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Be birth. Yes. We definitely start singing. Birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's go back to the chorus. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thanks for kicking us off. Yeah, that was good. <laughs>